Hi everyone, it's Kelly Clapstein here again today and I'm going to show you how to make this fun uh, cupcake liner or wrapper using your Brothers Scan and Cut machine. I designed this uh, wrapper using the library in the Scan and Cut and I'm going to show you how you can do that for yourself. So let me zoom in a, a little more. There we go. I'm going to choose pattern. I'm going to go into the basic shapes here and I'll go to page 12 where they have this half circle. I'll choose that. I'll, I'm going to make this half circle um, eight and a half inches wide. There we go, set. All right. And now I'm going to move it down here a bit because I'm now going to add, do you see these little rings, these top circles on my liner? I'm going to add those in three different sizes. So I will go back into my basic shapes and find the circle that is right beside that half circle with the cutout in the center. I will choose that. I'm going to make um, choose about eight or nine of them and make eight of them, eight or nine of them one inch wide. And I'm going to, like I said, choose the number would be all well, eight or nine of them. Add them to my mat. I'm going to choose the same circle and make these a quarter of an inch approximately, so that would be 0.75. Oh my goodness, here we go. And again, I'll choose about eight of them. And last, I will add yet again the same shape, and this time I'm going to go for half an inch, 0.50. Uh, again, I will choose about eight of them, eight to ten. There we go. Now I have this basic shape here, and that is the base of my cupcake liner or wrapper. And then I'm just going to actually just randomly uh, collect or add these different sizes of circles to the edge of my wrapper. So I took a me small, medium, large, and I'll just alternate them in different ways, and I am touching them to each other and to the base of the half circle liner. And yes, you know what, I know we've, some of us have chatted about online about how difficult it is to get these circles and see if they're touching or not. Now I'm not bent over my machine so I can't see that well and yes I'm of the age where I cannot see perfectly. So what you want to do is then go into this screen and then click your zoom and see how you're doing. So I'm doing not too badly and you know the challenge is you cannot adjust in this zoom screen so you have to do you check, take a look at how you're doing and if it's not working out you do want to go back and, and, and make a little few of your corrections move them closer together or what have you so basically you do that and I'll do a little bit of a fast forward so you don't have to see this mundane picking of circles but it just takes a minute and you can do this with any shape. I also did it with the star. Stars. So again, I chose three sizes of stars. Okay. And now if I'm satisfied with what I've got here, I am going to delete my extras. I'll click on each one, it asks to delete. Put them in the little garbage can. 
And then I am going to choose all my bounding boxes so that all of them are selected. Choose OK. And then I want to weld this together. OK to weld pattern irreversible. OK. And it's welded together. It's one piece and that is my cupcake liner. So I'm going to click OK and let's cut it out. I've got my paper, my cardstock on my mat and I've loaded my, my mat into the machine. Now I'm going to click OK and cut and play. Alright, it's finished cutting. I'll click OK, unload my mat. And here I have my cupcake liner. And what I'll do is I'll put adhesive along this one edge and then I'll bring it around and place it together like this and then set my cupcake inside. And it's a little bit larger than most wraps just so you know it doesn't go tightly around the cupcake. There you have it. And I'll just do another quick um, tutorial right now on how to just add the stars and it won't be you know from start to finish. I just want to show you how versatile this shape is. So I'm going to go back into my patterns, my basic shapes, and I will choose that half circle again with the cutout. I will make it again uh, about eight and a half inches wide on my mat. And you'll do the same process for any shape you add to your liner. Um, I added the stars. So I, the stars are from the basic shapes that I chose. Here it is. I chose this star. It's on page 5 out of 12 of the basic shapes. So I'll choose that. And again, I'm going to choose about eight or ten at one inch and I'll add that number to eight or nine whatever it doesn't matter then again I'm going to add that's on page five remember that the same star and again you could add any shape right this is again point three quarters of an inch, 0.75 approximately. This is just these are just mine. Oops, I'm gonna go back. I forgot to add the number. So I will make it again that many. And then I will add a whole bunch of stars that are half an inch, 0.50 wide. And I will add 10 of them. Okay, and again, it is just a matter of dragging and dropping and having your stars touch each other and touch the base of your cupcake liner. And then you just grab and you can see it just takes minutes to choose randomly the different sizes. And you go along and finish that up. And weld it together. So here's a closer look. And again, when you want to check, you go into the screen so you can zoom in and see how you're doing. All right, make your adjustments. 
So that's it. I have a couple of cut files for these cupcake liners so you do not have to make your own and they will be on my blog in the, com in the um, information area of this video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.